dismiss, dismissing critics' claims that the reforms are punitive. In a meeting with the new United Kingdom High Commissioner to Kenya, that is Neil Wagen, Gashagua extended an invitation to the UK coffee business companies for open discussions on the changes. On Wednesday, Kashagwa emphasized that coffee reforms are aimed at rescuing coffee subsector from collapse due to sustained low production over the years. He welcomed the opportunity to engage the UK companies. The people against the reforms have created a narrative that the reforms mm -hmm. uh, can stall uh, trade and business. Far from it. All we are saying is that uh, in the 70s and the 80s, uh, coffee, we were doing 241,000 metric tons of coffee mm -hmm. in your staff. And uh, if there is any issue that you think you need some intervention from the presidency to move a little bit faster, to make it easier, to lessen bureaucracy, mm -hmm. we are open and we are ready to be at your service. In response, Neil Wigan expressed appreciation for the strong bilateral relations and emphasized the UK's readiness to strengthen ties in technological advancements innovation, climate change, and renewable energy. He welcomed efforts to attract both British investors, aiming for balanced trade that benefits both nations. So we would like to, I mean, in a way, the development partner and the aid partnership is important, but we much more want to move into a sort of an economic partnership, security partnerships that right. you talked about, yes. um, and to be much more focused on how we can deal with challenges yes. together, yes. Uh, and where Kenya offers solution to global problems. So climate change, yes. uh, renewable energy, mm. all these things that you're doing more successfully. Even us, you have yes. higher percentage of renewable energy than we do. Right. We think there's potential to do really close cooperation. As the UK stands as one of the leading destinations for Kenya tea and coffee, Deputy President Kashagwa reassured that the reforms in this subsector are geared towards enhancing production and ensuring better income for farmers. Martin Masharia, Look Up TV. Yes.